Meet Father Cyril Axelrod. He is one of only 13 deaf-mute priests in the world, and he came to Rome for a conference at the Vatican on the deaf-mute community around the world. He's traveled all over the world to educate other deaf-mutes at conferences like this one. His commitment to helping others speaks volumes about his dedication in spite of his handicap. Father Axelrod is also blind. Yeah, it's very important for me to be here. Um, that's because, well, firstly, it's an opportunity to, um, to communicate um, with the church leaders and to ask them uh, um, and to tell them about deaf and to have them know about our culture. The second reason is to encourage everybody, uh, the deaf, deaf and hard of hearing priests, uh, um, because of the difficulties in their life is to encourage them and uh, to give them hope and patience so that they can continue their, their pastoral work to the deaf. The three-day conference focused on the care of deaf mute in the church that included pastoral care and attention to deaf mute faithful. We thought it was important to build the relationship with the church and the deaf. David Lovett Malloy is another one of the 13 deaf mute priests in the world that uses sign language to celebrate mass. We use an interpreter. Uh, um, for example, um, when I teach deaf people about communion and mass uh, um, and baptism, wedding, um, I teach them and um, we use an interpreter and uh, or I use sign language. It's very important that we do this. Before, the church did not allow the ordination of deaf mutes. Now it's more open. There are many organizations within the church, like congregations, that are dedicated to our deaf-mute brothers and sisters. Families and individuals from 67 countries attended the meeting and had a chance to meet the Pope in an audience. There are some 1,300,000 members of the Catholic Church worldwide that are deaf. The goal of this conference is to give a voice to this important minority and to foster a comfortable niche for them in the church.